How do people travel in Bangladesh? Huh? How do people travel in Bangladesh? Bangladesh, first of all, there is the Bangladesh is similar like lowland, and there are the, this season there's the plenty of water in everywhere. There are some roads to run the car or bus, something else. Otherwise, there are big fields to flooded by water, and men go one place to other place by boat or steamer or lunch or something else. But in the town, there are some fields to play football, some other things. How far is work from your home? Okay, let's see. Huh? How far what? How far is work from your home? One. How far is work from no, there, there are, this is there. In England, there are some system to support in Hendon. Hmm? There are so many houses like this. But in Bangladesh, the suppose the two or three family living in, in, in a, there is we so called house, but it's not a, it is similar like house, big houses. And some families are living in a house. There is a one house here, one, another up there, another up there. They have some space in the backyard, front, front something else, to work somewhere else. How many people in your house go to school? I'm not a good school. I'm not a good school. I'm not a good school. Yeah. That time, when I go to school, that time I got three. I have one brother and sister, and I myself, and my other brothers, they are in the high school, college, some, somewhere else. How many people were born in Bangladesh? Bangladesh is a lot of people. I was born in Bangladesh. I was born in Bangladesh. The people, are, those who are born in Botafs, some, anywhere, they like them, that place. They is habituated there to run, to stay, to eat, to play somewhere. There's some environment where those who are born and brought up there. When come from there, there's something similar, different like this. Do you have any Yes, 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 I have some yard. And I do something that is, there are some kinds of vegetables, fruits. And then in my house, there are some, some that, what is so, jackfruits, mango, banana, apple. <laughs> they're, not, they're not apple similar like apple, something else. Then other fruits also in my house, in surrounding my house. Then in the fruit season, then some fruits are available from fire house and somewhere else. Do any of your family carry on, carry on to further education? Mm -hmm. My family is from the World Cup. Normal basic school, college, university, they don't focus on me. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. What was the most popular food and why in Bangladesh? Most popular? What was the most popular food and why in Bangladesh? No wine. No wine, you mean? No. no wine. No, food no, no. Food-wise, uh, most popular food is uh, fish and uh, rice. Fish and rice, yeah. And vegetables. And could you say what brought you to England? Uh, England, England, uh, England. Uh, England. Uh, England. 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 That time, I uh, service in my country in Dhaka. Uh, that time the Queen Elizabeth gone Bangladesh. The, that time the Ayub Khan is the field, field marshal law. He is ruling the Pakistan time. The East Pakistan, we are East Pakistan and that West Pakistan we are included in here. And that time Queen Elizabeth gone there. We visited. Which year and is it? The year was born, it was is born maybe 1962 or 63, 63 something like that. Mm. Yes. That time I service in the Dakar Sam department. Then I know 
the people that give some vouchers, free vouchers, those who are applied for the voucher job or something else, they will get free voucher and they will come to England. Then from the very boyhood, the British rule our country 200 years. Then everybody know who is the British and the England. Everybody is known to England. But somebody is very young, the how nice England, I could not see it but I don't think it about it. That is why I'm anxious to try to come in here. When I apply it, I got a visa, make a passport and come to England in 1963. Since, since then, you settled here. Yeah, and some other persons are coming in here. And when I came here, then I like it. There is a plenty of job available, more facilities in here. That is why I stay here and welcome to somebody else to come in here and stay here. In my country. Or here yeah. even. In Bangladesh. In here. This country. Uh, is it in Bangladesh or in here? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. All about Bangladesh. There are some categories. One category is doing in the work in the official work. There are some persons who are working in the factory. There are some persons in the doing private work. The farmer and some other things. after two years, three years, it will well. go to Bangladesh to visit them, see them, then again come back here. He lives in this country and, he, but, uh, and whenever he goes to Bangladesh, he uh, see his relative. Uh, Quite often, you know. And the family members. Okay. Family and community people also. Perfect. Mainly in here, that's his, his home now. All of our <laughs> home now. Yes. <laughs> how, far, how far away was the place, how far away was the mosque from your home? In my village, the, it is a big village. The name is Saitpur. It is a very popular village in Bangladesh. And in my village, there are some 36 mosques in my village. The, my house, the next house, there is another house, there is a mosque. In the so left side. About five, five minutes, uh, five minutes, five minutes, three minutes, minutes ten minutes. minutes. So far, there are some mosques. Are some mosques. And plenty of people is, is pious and they are praying, praying something else. That is why plenty of people gone to mosques, full of mosques. How many hours a day do you spend in the mosque? Garden. They work in the garden. When I get chance, then do something in the garden. There is no limited there how many hours or something like that. When I find the time, then I do doing something, cultivating something, taking something. <laughs> Pakistan. I'm born and brought up in Saitpur, Silla district. That time was Pakistan. Uh, no, that time it is British rule. When he was born. Mm. Yeah, so he was born. Uh, I was born in 1935. Uh, yeah. That time British rule. It was not divided. Mm. It was not divided. And, and Pakistan was divided. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Uh, and Pakistan and India divided. Uh, British come from there, India then in 46, 47, something like that. So three changes. He was born in when British was ruling uh, India. 
and then independent came was Pakistan, mm -hmm. and then we was in independence. Yeah, yeah. and then it was Pakistan, yeah. and now it's been independent from Pakistan to Bangladesh. Which year was that? Change. Yeah. Uh, well, the India was India and Bangladesh. Bangladesh became uh, separated from Pakistan was in 1971. 71. 71. Mm. So that was when you were here. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was already here. Yeah. Then I am Pakistan. British, Pakistani, and Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> I have three titles. <laughs> Would you like to tell the children what jobs you've done since you've been here? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. But, uh, first of all, when I came in England, that I started in Ulmore Pitten in Birmingham Motor Factory. There. Then come Bradford in Cotton Mill. There are some people working there, some people there. Yeah. Then in Cotton Mill I worked some diaries. Then I came to Sunderland. Start from the other student. <laughs> And then he's obviously retired. Now. He's still here, I mean, yeah. He's I came to Sunderland like about maybe 72 or something like that, and still in here. You're now retired? Yes, yes, yes. he's retired now. Who did the shopping in your house? I'm not going to shopping to make paper or not, never on Nina. The shopping, uh, I have a son, he was doing sometimes, I did some shopping up there, where, where in gone shop and where? take it. No, in here. Shopping, you mean here, is it? In house in here, where he's living now? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's got son, he lives with his son and his wife and himself, so both sharing. Why did you go to pray? For pray? I go to mosque up there. In Salisbury the Street. There is a mosque. Away from his, his house. Another mosque is there also, Chester, but he goes Yeah, but he more, mostly used one nearby his, which is only two minutes away from his house. What was school like in Bangladesh? Bangladesh is school. Bangladesh is school. Bangladesh is school. Bangladesh is school. Bangladesh is Bangladesh is school. 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 Oh, school life is okay, then, because the, my village is, before my born, it is some developed in my village. There is a, so many school, madrasa, and at the moment, there is a college, the guard school, there is a, the religious title school, there are some primary school, kindergarten school, lyceum school, there are some schools in my village, now more developed. Were, were you snapped at all when you were young, if you were naughty? I'm not in school. Did you? Well, in school. Yes. In school, I'm not in school. I'm not in school. I'm not in school. But you, for the control of the children, there is some stick in the hand of master, the teacher. And otherwise, without the stick, not control the children. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How do you prepare yourself for prayer? What I call Sorry. How do you prepare yourself for prayer? Prayer. Oh, before to go to prayer, I am making this is, this is so called ozu. That is, wash hands, face, legs, something other things. We are, we are good cloth, we are good cloth and dress and go to mosque for prayer. Yeah, go to Postal there and you enter the school, yeah. Research for the tattoo, etc. Any more? Yeah. How many times do you pray each day? Regularly five times. Five times. Compulsory for all Muslims to do. Yes. Yeah. 